Hi, I'm Susan from Inspira, and today I'm catching up with Andy Dodds from Carlisle College to find out what changes they've made to the application processes uh, and what you need to do if you're thinking about going to college. Hi, Andy. Hi there, Sue. Hi there. So I'm one of the directors at Carlisle College and I'm pleased to be here this afternoon to give you some information on how to apply and the situation we currently have at Carlisle College. Great, thanks. I've got a couple of questions, if that's all right. No problem, yeah. So, how can young people apply to do a course with you at the moment? Yeah, well, firstly, just to say that applications are still open, so don't worry, although the college is physically closed, as in the building, um, you can still apply online for courses at Carlisle College. So you simply go to our website, which is www.carlisle.ac.uk, find the course that you're interested in, and at the bottom of the course details page, you'll find an apply link. If you click on the apply button, the application just takes a few minutes to fill in. So don't worry, there's nothing, nothing too complicated there. And once you've applied, um, that will then start you off on the application process so that you can secure your place and receive an offer, hopefully, for study from September. And we are encouraging people to apply sooner rather than later so they can secure their place. Great. And what if they're undecided about which course? Can they apply for more than one? Well, what we're actually asking is that people just make an application for one course um, and then they will then progress through the application system on the basis of that course. But if, however, they do change their mind at any point, because we do realise that people change their mind, have different ideas, mm -hmm. um, then what we'll do is we'll just transfer your application from one course to another. But what it does is it prevents you from having effectively to go through the application system twice with two different courses. We'll just have one application that we can we can switch your course and if you do need some extra help and advice and guidance our student advice officer dave carruthers he's available and he can be contacted at dcarruthers at carlisle.ac.uk and if you email him he can give more information advice and guidance answer your questions by email or he can arrange to telephone you at a suitable time to have a discuss through your options that's great And once, once people have applied, what happens next? Yeah, well, when you're making your application, one of the last screens will be a drop down menu to select a future student event and the dates for your particular course that you've applied for will be available in that drop down menu. Uh, at that future student event, you select your date, you would then come into Carlisle College and that's your opportunity to discuss your application with the tutor, make sure the course is suitable for you and that it fits with your future career plans and that you meet the entry criteria for that course. Now, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, we haven't been able to host those future student events in college during March, April or May. Um, for future events in June, July and August, again, we're still waiting to see for government advice on whether we'll be able to, for those to actually physically take place. So what has had to happen for those who were scheduled for a future student event in March, April or May is that their tutors have been contacting those applicants on the telephone to discuss their application instead. And then hopefully following that discussion on the telephone, they will be then in a position to issue an offer for a place to study at Carlisle College, which we're hoping you'll accept. And I'm just thinking about um, people who might be uh, needing help with the costs of coming to college. Are they still able to find out about that at the moment? Yeah, again, uh, yeah, we, we do have a range of um, financial support available at Carlisle College to help our students succeed in their studies. Uh, that can range from travel support um, for those who live more than three miles away from the college. It can include childcare, uh, support for those who need childcare arrangements in order to attend college. We also continue on the free school meals provision for those who are eligible. And there are also bursaries in place as well to help meet the costs of your course, such as equipment and resources. So all the information on the financial support that is available is on at the Carlisle College website under the student finance section. So please do delve into that. Or alternatively, again, you can discuss that as part of your future student calls or with our student advice officer, which again was dcarruthers at carlisle.ac.uk. That's great. Thank you very much, Andy. I think that's going to be really useful for people. 
and uh, I'm going to put it out uh, on our Inspira website and they'll be able to hear all about it. So thanks for your time. <laughs>